right guys, so hopefully you have a Pro Tools session brought up right now. Now, if you don't have a Pro Tools session brought up, don't worry, just take plenty of notes and apply this information as soon as you can. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and edit some MIDI so you understand how the tools uh, are used and, you know, obviously the power of MIDI. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, this is the same project that, you know, we've been kind of working on for a little while. What I did is I went ahead and I, uh, unquantize some parts of the song and uh, move some notes around so that you know we can go ahead and edit. Okay so let's listen how it sounds like and then we'll begin making adjustments. So it sounds a little strange <laughs> obviously it doesn't sound like the way it originally sounds uh, so we're going to go ahead and use a bunch of different tools, like, uh, you know, obviously the Smart Tools, Pencil Tool, and a few other, um, you know, parameters and tools that you can go ahead and use right here with MIDI. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and change the note values, because obviously uh, the, this note value is not 100% correct. And this will happen a lot of times when you're recording, you know, somebody who's recording with a MIDI instrument. Uh, they'll actually mess up here and there, but it's obviously your job to go ahead and adjust their performance to make it sound perfect. So let's go ahead and start by adjusting this uh, length right here to where it should be. And this note right here doesn't belong there. But first thing before we actually change, uh, you know, where the notes should be, which is like right there, we're going to change the note length first. So we're bringing that down. Always make sure to use your smart tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring this where it belongs. And now this section right here, uh, it's starting a little bit late. Now there's a, let's say for example, you know that this begins at the at a quarter note or something like that or the beginning of a measure, you can go ahead and make sure that it gets there by uh, selecting this right here. And I'll move it there. Now if you, let's say for example it belongs somewhere else but you still want to quantize, uh, you'd go back to the, the grid area right here and let's say you want to move it to 16th note. You see I can go ahead and move it there and it's quantized to 16th note. Okay, very cool. Other things that you could do, of course, is uh, adjust velocities, which means like if you were playing or the person that was playing uh, had their dynamics all over the place, they were striking particular notes harder than others, you want to kind of make sure that everything sounds all together, you'll go over to this section right here go to velocity and right here gives you all the different uh, velocity hits or actually uh, strengths that you can use so you could either make them quieter or you can bring them up a bit however you want to do it you can even do this by uh, you know segments if you want to go ahead and adjust a lot of them at the same time okay that's another thing you could do you could also with with MIDI you could also adjust you know volume and this is basically like automation. This is essentially, that's what it is, is automation. So let's go ahead and take a quicker look at that. And for this, you will use, use your pencil tool. So let's go ahead and select that. And I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, select some points and move them up, down, a little bit like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a listen and we'll hear the dynamic of this uh, particular loop change. So that's something you could do as well. Let's go ahead and move this back to the way it was. Cool. You could also do the same thing with uh, muting, with panning. So if you want to go ahead and like you know change the panning from left to right, you could definitely do that. And this will definitely sound weird, uh, especially since I'm doing the recording using monitors, so it's going to sound a little funky. Uh, but I'll hit play. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust that back to the way it was. Pitch bend, you could change, uh, you can, you know, essentially if you were working with a keyboard that had a pitch bend, you can affect the, the pitch of the note from note to note, which will give it kind of like a, how do you say, like a portamento type of vibe to it. Uh, after touch, that's another thing that you could do. Go ahead and adjust that.
So changing the parameters of aftertouch was a little bit more subtle, but there's plenty of other effects right here that you can go ahead and work with, some with more extreme, I guess, uh, uh, results. So my suggestion to you is to go ahead and just create some melodies. So, you know, either if you have a keyboard, go ahead and connect your keyboard to, uh, obviously, to Pro Tools, and uh, just, you know, make some melodies or do some chord progressions. Or if you don't have a keyboard, all you need to do is use your pencil tool and go ahead and just write in some note values and begin experimenting like that. So I hope this video was helpful, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.